Hi there, this is Nancy, and I'm back with yet another installment on how to work with Rana Designs app. So today we're going to work on how I did this picture here. In this photo, we're using a mask and design element with some font. And there's a trick to this part of using the mask with the design elements using the to the toggle for the mask feature. And so let's get started. What I'm going to do is I think today we're going to undo some of these elements. So I'm going to remove this piece by highlighting it and hitting delete. I'm go now my text is highlighted so I'm going to delete that and now my ribbon is highlighted I'm going to delete that and last the font down here I'm going to delete that and I want to show you that I at this time have the mask on and now I have it off excuse me okay so this is the photo that we're going to be working with and so this at this point you would come into this photo and here you have it you would open up your canvas options menu by touching the green box and you would come down and choose the mask feature okay now you've got to turn on the mask feature so we're just going to slide it on Typically, it comes on and it's darker. It's about this dark. I don't want it quite that dark. I want some of my elements of my shirt to come through. And so I'm just going to choose whatever opacity I think is going to work best for me. So we'll just do 51%. Okay, so now that we've got the mask feature turned on, we're going to exit out of the screen. And we're going to come up to this top and we're going to choose the starburst to open up all your design packs and now we're going to open up the insta days design pack that's what i used and now we've got the wednesday circle <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so now that we've got this circle here, this is what I wanted to speak to. How to use the toggle and what you can and can't use when you're using the mask feature. This was brought about by um, one of the Instagrammers that, that we follow and follow us, asking us, what she was doing wrong and she wasn't doing anything wrong it's just that the mask is set up to work a certain way so when you have the mask open just like this and you go in and you add another element all you have to do is click the plus I chose the banners the insta banners now in the middle you can't really see but my banner is there and do you see the Wednesday now I'm gonna scooch my banner down and it's covering the word Wednesday so when you're working with a mask and it comes in it's going to whatever area of your mask is white when you open it when you have the mask feature turned on that is going to become a clear area so typically you come up here to the mask and you tell it that you want to exclude it from the mask feature so now you can see that some of the mask is showing um, excuse me some of the banner is showing but some of it is not the reason that that Wednesday is white is because that's where the banner is right now so I'm gonna move the banner up to the top away from this open area which is the mask feature <clears throat> excuse me 
So, because I have it up in the frosted area, let's call this a frosted area, that design that is toggled to exclude the mask will show up, as you can see here. Again, now, if you were to put it into, like let's say that you wanted to use that below or laying on top of your circle, well then it wouldn't work because you're falling into the mask area. The only way to make that work at this time is what you would do is, let's get rid of this banner, you would take this photo and you would save it. And when you save it and start over and open this photo, you will then be able to put the banner anywhere you want and it will show up, okay? But in this case, I wanted to show you that if you didn't want to get out of the app, which it doesn't take very long to get in and out, of course, you can just make sure to add your design element only in the frosted areas. So let's pick that banner again. Okay, I chose white, but you don't see it on because right now the mask feature is turned on. I'm going to come up to the mask and exclude it. Now you can see parts of it. So now I'm going to bring it up and it'll sit just right now. Watch if I scooch it down just a little and it hits that other mask. Because that little w clear area is there, that part of the banner will disappear. So I don't want that to disappear, so I'm just going to scooch it up a little bit. So now I'm going to add an outline to it. You go into your design options and you come down here to the outline and then you can choose whatever color you want. And you won't see it right now, but when we get out of the screen, it'll show up. I like to use the outline with these ribbons because it really makes them pop. They're okay without them, but it really does give it a lot of pop when you add an outline to it. So now we're done with this piece. We're going to hit done. And of course, oh, there you go. I all I did was to show the um, outline was I clicked the different colors and flipped it right back to the white and we're good to go now okay so <clears throat> I am so sorry my sinuses are acting up okay so now that we've got the banner all that's left to do is to add some text so I'm done text and the box came up again in the middle, but you can't see it because it's within the word. And actually, if I bring this up, you will see where it says double tap. And that's just playing with that mask that's already there because the words are there. Because there's frosted letters, that's why you're able to see some of that. So I'm going to go ahead and click it gray, even though you can't see it. Now I'm going to I'm going to turn the mask off, and now you can see the letters, part of them, and I'm going to scooch it up. And that's where I could type whatever I wanted. I noticed with this font that the letters are close together, so I like to add a little extra space. Okay, so there's that, and then if I wanted to add some more text, which I do, there it is again. This time I'm going to hit it white. I'm going to bring it down. I'm going to hit the exclude, and there's my white font. If I leave it just as is, it will be part of the mask. But I'm going to exclude it and then type what I want. 
And that is it, folks. That is how you make design elements work with masks so that they show up. Just remember, if you want your design element to show up, you need to keep it in the frosted area. If you want it to show mixed in with this Wednesday piece, then before you do the banner, you simply save it. I guess we can do that now. Let's delete. I'm going to delete the banner. And just for the um, for time's sake, I'm going to leave it just like this. I'm going to tell it I'm done. And I'm going to share it. And I'm going to save it to my camera roll. Then I'm going to start over. Yes. I'm going to open up my camera roll and I'm going to pull that photo, crop it. Now I can go in and get my banner. Now as you can see it's white because it no longer is seeing that mask because it's a saved photo. Go into my outline. Now. Notice how, because I'm not using a mask, it's showing me the outline immediately. Earlier, it didn't show me the outline. I had to come over here and play with the colors. I hit the black and I hit the white and I hit the black again, and it came up. So just play with the colors a little bit. It all has to do with the mask. So now that this piece right here has been saved, I can put this banner anywhere. So if I wanted to put it down here, I could, and it'll stay, stay right there, and then I can put my type. Okay, so that is it for this video. I hope this helps, and um, I will be back with more. You can find me at lovestocreate.com or on Instagram at underscore Nancy Wyatt, and you should be able to see the icons to those um, places right here on my YouTube page. And if you have any questions, please find me on Instagram or at my blog and leave me questions and I'll be happy to help. Okay, thanks a lot and um, hugs from Conroe, Texas. Take care.